G'day guys and welcome back to our channel and Nick and Help Me. Today we are back in the comfort of my kitchen, my living room here. But we are gonna be eating fine dine today. Yay! That's right, so a few days ago we found out that there is a company online that delivers fine dine or semi-fine dine food. It's called Provador. Now we're not sponsored, but they should sponsor <laughs> us, right? Now they've got a lot of restaurants that's participating, but there's one that I really miss from Pots Boy, and it's called Chocho -cho San. It's a Japanese restaurant, and they serve one of the best kombu butter, I think. So we immediately like we gotta order that. So we ordered uh, the feast for two for $160. It's a little bit expensive, I know, but they come with nine. Uh, nine different cuisine. Now the good thing about this is everything's pre-packed so all you need to do is just plate them, heat them up, and maybe do a little or minimal cooking and then you have a fine up? dine experience. So we're gonna try it and then we're gonna review it for you guys. Hopefully it's as good as uh, the restaurant. I know the restaurant is really good so keen to try it at home now. This is the most exciting part, getting delivery. I don't know, every time there's like delivery, I'm super excited. Mm. Oh, it's here. Oh, look at that. It's a big oh. box. No, it's actually not that heavy. <laughs> and then it says, Restaurant Magic is waiting inside. Just hit plate and enjoy. Oh my God. This is like the most exciting part. During lockdown, I think, right? The ordering food. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay, like this is full on how to do heat up and everything. We'll go through this later. But look at this. So it comes with like bubble, but then, you know, to preserve the food and it's quite cold. All right, super, super excited. So this is edamame, koshikari rice. Even they give you this seaweed. Ooh, gyoza, tiki date pudding. Wow, even the feiji is all washed and cut, which is perfect. <laughs> so you don't need to cut and wash. This is it, Nick. Oh my goodness. That's right. This is the one thing you have to order if you go to Cho Cho San. Correct. The kombu butter prawn. Yes. It's literally the best thing ever. The best thing ever. Oh my god. I'm waiting to cook I that miss tonight. You. Ooh, and wagyu. Wagyu. Oh, tuna, avocado, pepper, and wasabi. Right. And they give you all the sauces. Sauces. Look. Welcome to Nix and Helmy Fine Dining Edition. All right, so today we're gonna cook three courses. This is like hardcore. One is edamame, pickles, tuna, and chicken gyoza. The course two is king prawns, a spicy exo koshikari, which is the rice, wagyu sirloin, and greens. And for the dessert, we have the sticky date pudding. All right, so I guess we start with edamame and pickles. I guess the pickles are done. Yeah, the pickles are done. All you need to do is just plate them. That's the exactly. easiest part of it. Oh my god, this is super easy. All right. And that's done. How easy is that? That's the easiest dish yep. ever. <laughs> so I think they already portioned everything with ooh, for two people. And boiling water, we just put that edamame. Bit of olive oil. Next, we are making the tuna with some avocado. Mm, my favorite. And I just put a little bit of salt and pepper. You know, when you go fine dining, everything is about the plating, right? So, 
Let's try this. Can you help me play? <laughs> I guess do that. Mix it. Final touch. Crush Nori. So next is gyoza. I think this is the chicken gyoza. And ow, ow! My goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Almost kitchen disaster. All right, so this is like feiji oil or canola oil. Don't use olive oil. This is super easy. You just need to cook about two or three minutes. And voila! The gyoza is done. All right, so Helmi made so much effort. Look mm -hmm. at this. Got the candles, got the flour, and she did the entree. I have to do better for the main. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the edamame here, uh, sprinkled with uh, some seasoning. Uh, try a little bit of the seasoning earlier. It tasted like a roasted sesame, which is interesting. Then the pickle ginger ponzu here. The wakame pepper, Ooh. tuna, and avocado sprinkled with some nori, so that is looking great. Then here we got the chicken gyoza. We pan fried a little bit to get that crispiness and then drizzle it with a little bit of the yuzu kosho. So perfect. Can't wait to try it. Let's, of course, customary. Everything always starts with edamame. Yeah. Can't really go wrong with edamame. <laughs> this is so good. But the seasoning though gives it that nice kick, that sesame kind of flavor on top of that beautiful edamame. Oh, this is beautiful. This is just an entree, but I literally can eat this. I can snack this forever. Like when you're watching a TV or a movie and then you're eating edamame. By the time the movie finished, you are probably gone through like five kilos of edamame, <laughs> right? It's so addictive though. This particular dish, the pickled ginger ponzu, not really my favorite. But man, if I had to eat it, I'll eat it anyway because it's crunchy. I know it's crunchy. Mm. But the tanginess though, man, wow. It's like really, really tangy. So almost feels like you gotta combine it with another dish to just really balance out the flavor. Otherwise, it's just too salty and too tangy. So we've got the wakame pepper wasabi, the tuna, the fresh tuna there, and then avocado underneath. Just gonna see if we can grab everything in and some of the avocado. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That instant wasabi kick. <laughs> you know how like when you get a brain freeze, it's like kind of like you're about to go brain freeze, but it's a wasabi freeze. It goes up. <laughs> oof. Wow. That's quite a kick though. I love the tuna. The tuna is so soft though. Beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Uh, you got a bit of that kind of nice kind of tanginess as well. So actually really, really nice and kind of refreshing as well. And because the tuna is like cold, it's like out of the fridge. We put it in the fridge again earlier. So it's just absolutely refreshing. Mmm. Like the more you eat it, the wasabi is actually a really nice complement to it. It's not too strong. Just perfect, you know. Mm. Mm. Wow, the tuna is like so soft, fresh, and it's like melt in your mouth. Normally, I don't really like tuna. I prefer um, salmon, actually, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but this one is really good though. Maybe because I had like bad tuna before, but this one, oh my god. It's really good. I think the combination of the wakame and pepper and the wasabi is really, really good. Yeah. It helps kind of dilute um, the overall aftertaste because usually tuna has like this strong kind of aftertaste. That's right. And also the avocado, I think, helps as well. It's really good. Mm. Oh, so good. It's refreshing. So good. Mm. Okay, so, so this is the chicken gyoza. Yeah. Let's try this. Mmm. First of all, disclaimer, I'm not a fan of yuzu because it's like citrusy, it's a bit sour and tangy. So 
not really fan of the sauce but the gyoza itself is good so i think if we have the gyoza dip we can use our own dip it's pretty good mm. oh yeah i is correct the chicken is so soft it literally is the softest chicken i've ever tasted <laughs> it's so soft it's mint so it's really just fine and soft there so when you bite it really almost just melts in your mouth that uses just a unique addition to the gyoza it's got that spicy kick to it as well but that has got that kind of kind of citrusy tanginess uh, kind of sourness as well so usually for gyoza i do prefer more like you kind of like soya sauce kind of sauce where it's just nice and savory yeah this is a good thing about <laughs> eating at home yeah so you can add some stuff that you feel like it's missing i hope this doesn't offend chocho san <laughs> So I love you guys, but I just want to try it with my own sauce, okay? Okay, add a little bit of my sauce there. <laughs> Let's try it. Mm. See? <laughs> oh man, I don't know what sauce this is. But this is actually dumpling sauce. So. Some dumpling sauce, but man, that is a good combination. With beautiful kind of soft chicken. With the dumpling sauce, top notch. So good. Mm. All right, so now it's time to cook the main, and it's my turn. <laughs> okay, I looked at the instructions to cook all the mains. Seems like it's easier than the entree. So really, there you go, Helmy. Maybe I got lucky, eh? <laughs> so we're gonna be cooking something that I love the most: the combo Ooh. butter prawn. This is like. The one menu you have to order, right? If you ever dine in at Chocho Cho San in Pots Point. Yeah. 100%. And get that extra prawn as well. Because they serve it uh, three, I think, at the restaurant. But it's good that they've got four now, which is perfect. All right. Like, let's go. you can actually eat the whole four by yourself. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's so damn good. Look at that. Beautiful. King prawn. So this is simple, just set it to 200 degrees and then put it in there for about 8 minutes. Bye bye prawn! That one's done, so this one is really easy, it's just 2 minutes in the microwave. This is the easiest, so <laughs> good. See, I don't know why you didn't pick your main, Helmy. Cooking main is so much easier. <laughs> so, but here comes the Wagyu. Oh my goodness. Yes, once it gets really really hot, then you simply put the meat down for one and a half minutes each side that's what the instruction says <laughs> <laughs> The next up is the greens, which is very, very easy. Exactly like edamame, you just need some water. You boil it into high heat, and then you put it in for two minutes, take it out, serve. <laughs> easy, right? Just gonna put it down here for a second here. All right, now what's the sauce. Wow, well done, Nick. Look at this. Yes. Yes. Look at that wow. beautiful spread. Look at that. Yeah, so we got the kombu butter prawn. This is a like must. The highlight. Like the best thing ever about Chocho Cho San. Yes. And we got the wagyu with teriyaki sauce, I believe. Mm hmm. And the koshi curry, like fried rice with some bonito flakes on top. And we got the boiled veggie as well. All right. So I'll try the Wagyu first because it's looking super good. Look at that. Oh my god. So good. So good. Mm. How's my cooking? <laughs> so let's talk about the meat itself, not Nick's cooking. <laughs> So the meat is like super tender and juicy, but I think the highlight is this fat right here. 
Oh, my look at God. that. Yes. And the teriyaki sauce is also good. It's like sweet and complement well with the meat. I think this rice, you have to eat it with the beef as well. It's like super, super good. Look, and it's super easy. You just need to heat it up in microwave. For two minutes. <laughs> and all done, right? Let's try this. Mmm. Strong exo sauce flavor. So if you don't know exo sauce, just go to like Asian supermarket and you'll see in the bottle. It's very good with the Asian veggie as well. So it's like strong exo sauce flavor, little bit spicy and the rice is like stick together. It's perfect breakfast. Mmm! Whoa! The garlic is like punch in your face. So basically soy sauce and garlic is very nice. But this is the finale of tonight. It's the prawn. Oh my god, I'm struggling to eat it. Look at that. Look at that. And normally, we got the sauce as extra. How convenient is this? We are sitting next to the <laughs> <laughs> and then get the spoon. All right. Oh my god, I need to scoop my kombu butter. Oh, look at that. Uh, nice. Oh, gosh. Alright. It's like the best thing ever about Cho Cho San. Best thing ever. Okay, um, okay. There's no, like, a proper way rather than eating with your hand. That's why this is the finale. I guess if you are in Cho Cho San and, you know, dine in, I don't think people use hands, but this is at home, right? Who cares? Look at that. Mm. Wow. I really, really, really miss this flavor. It's like extremely good. Prawn meat is like super, super juicy. And then the kombu butter is like very creamy and just perfect. Usually when they cook the wagyu here, it's really crispy on the top. I kind of fail a little bit here, but judging by Helmi's reaction, she said it was pretty good. So definitely gonna try this now. See all that fat on it? Oh, man, it's gonna be juicy. Mm. It's mm. not your cooking, it's the meat itself. <laughs> it's a little bit of my cooking. It's a little bit of the meat, right? <laughs> that tender touch from Nick. Man, that's good. If you're in Cho Cho San, you definitely have to order the Wagyu teriyaki here and definitely the kombu butter. This is what me and Helmi go for every single time we go to Cho Cho San, that kombu butter. Oh, <laughs> man, that's so fragrant. You can immediately smell that kombu, it's so strong. Wow, this is very, very soft. It's very hard to get it out. But look at that. Look how soft it is. Gonna get all that kombu here. Kombu butter. Glaze it. Here we go. The king prawn with kombu butter. Oh. Oh, tell me it's right. It's the creaminess, the crunchiness of the king prawn. Oh, beautiful. It's so soft though, but man, the kombu butter is just insane out of this world. It's literally the best thing ever about Cho Cho San is this, this yeah. kombu butter prawn. The first time we tried this dish at Cho Cho San, we were completely blown away. It was just so good that we kept coming back just for this. Yeah. It's so good. It comes down to dessert and we got the sticky date pudding. Yep, we are too lazy to put it in a bowl because look at this. I have to clean it afterwards. So yeah, that's okay. That's right. So apparently Take you can away. oven that as well, guys, for five minutes. But Just put it in microwave. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we got this one as well, which is the ricotta whip, I think. Ricotta whip. All right. Just maybe put some on top. So normally in Cho Cho San, I always get the green tea soft serve ice cream as a dessert. So I actually never tried this sticky date pudding. Ooh, it's super soft. 
steam going. Yeah. Mm. It's too much. <laughs> All right, there you go. You know, you have to be a lady like. Ooh. Wow. It's very sweet. Even I love dessert, but I think this is quite sweet. Maybe I have to eat it with some ricotta cheese. Mmm, yeah, better. It's like so creamy and very sweet. I mean, it's like normal sticky date pudding, honestly. There's nothing special about it. I mean, this is just like normal sticky pudding. So yeah, it comes with it. So just enjoy it, I guess. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We put so much effort. Look at this. My fake flowers, the candles, even the dress, even the <laughs> cooking. And I think for me, $160 for two people with nine dishes from Chuchu San is pretty good, right? Yeah, it's not too yeah, bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. And there's so many other selections that mm -hmm. you can try, like French, Greek. Um, I think there's Chinese food like Golden Century, so you can order whatever you wish. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to punch the like button, subscribe, ring the bell notification, and I'll see you next week. See ya!